Hello everyone, my name is Exochromatic, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I normally record Minecraft content, but I thought it would be a fun change to play my all-time favorite game, Plague Incorporated. So, I'm just going to be playing as Bacteria, and the last time I played this, I did it on normal. But, for this, we're going to try it on Brutal. Let's see how well this works. So, we're going to be naming this Fisco Girls. Alright, you are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Alright, I normally like to start these in either Saudi Arabia, uh, Egypt, or in China, but... I think I might actually go with South Africa. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I'm starting it in Egypt. All right. So I'm going to quickly. All right. Spreading throughout Egypt. Got some DNA points, which should be helpful. All right. I think I'm going to go with a uh, blood one at first. I'll usually like to go for either air one or water one, but I figure since we're starting it in Africa, blood one will be useful. Um. <laughs> oh, what is this news article? All right. 15 DNA points. I'm going to go with air one. That's pretty good. Oh no, uh, rash symptom, rash symptom. Evolve. All right. Yeah, I never like to have any symptoms showing up at all because it's really, really difficult to go under the radar, especially this early on. So whenever I get a new symptom, I devolve it. 22 DNA points. I think I will go with... Hmm. Water. Because after I get air 2 and water 2, I can get the one in the middle. Hmm. Uh, new fall in urban population density. That's something that I'm going to have to remember. Especially when trying to get this uh, disease into more urban environments. Ooh, hello. In Saudi Arabia and South Africa. Okay, okay, this is cool. Uh, where are you gonna go? Oh, back into South Africa and Sudan. And these two, okay. So now that they are in more wealthy countries, I'm immediately going to go for drug resistance one. Oh boy. Heavy flooding in Zimbabwe. Significant increase in disease due to crowded refugee camps. Ooh. That should be useful. Visco girls have infected more people in the world than tuberculosis. It is a very infectious disease. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Alright, 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 alright. It's doing pretty good. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, nausea. I don't want that. I don't want that. No. We are going to devolve that immediately. There we go. Um, I'm gonna need some... Well, okay. <laughs> I meant to click cold resistance, but a little bit of extra heat resistance doesn't hurt. Now Visco Girls are beginning to spread around the world. All right. Um, okay. Visco Girls have infected more people in the world than HIV. Ah. All right. Now, as soon as I can get cold resistance, I'm going to get it. And actually, I need to check how much it costs. Oh, nine DNA points. 
So there we go. Starting to spread. Spreading way easier in Africa than anywhere else, but that is to be expected because it's a an, it's an overall poor environment and it's hot. And because Egypt is hot, it is doing better there because that's what it's used to. So I'm gonna go back into transmission and see what else I should do. Seems like water transmission is gonna be a lot more useful. It costs 18 DNA points and then, oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna try to save up quite a few, but I think I'm going to go with water too before I go for drug resistance too. Okay. Um, I should be able to afford it soon enough. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So now I can go into here, get water too. Perfect. So now it should be able to go through water easier. That should be good. Oh boy. Um, if I can click fast enough, no! Oh God. Okay, I need to just pause the game whenever I get these. Okay. Okay, nope, that's just symptom. I don't want that, go away. And with that, I can now get drug resistance too. Sweet. It's spreading pretty well, except I feel like I should probably get um, cold resistance too, just because it's not really spreading as fast as I want it to in the colder countries. And I just really want to get it into the infamous Greenland. Go girls are the most infectious disease. Who would have thought? Ooh, okay. It's going a little silly. Okay, I've got a lot of DNA points. So I think I'm gonna get bacterial resilience because that's useful. Now for this. I usually like to get bird. And uh, cold resistance is gonna cost another DNA point. So I just need to, ah, here we go, perfect. Now I can get cold resistance too, and that should be able to make it spread faster in colder climates. And looky there, it's already working. So all I need to do is check the world. I only have four countries that need to be infected, but that shouldn't be too difficult. It's one of the reasons why I like, um, playing as a fungus because, oh, I don't want that. Um, because in stages like this, I can just get it into those last countries without it being that big of a deal. But for now, I just need to wait it out and just pray that it goes into Greenland. Okay, we just need one more, one more. Okay, every single country, yes! <laughs> Got into Greenland, sweet. Um, so there's still a good chunk of the world that is doing healthy. I do not want rashes, thank you. I think I'm gonna wanna get genetic hardening one already. extreme bioaerosol but I am not sure if that's going to do too well seeing as it's already infected most of the world Greenland is doing all right China's iffy Ukraine is yep okay I send Greenland China Okay, so what I'm gonna do is check the world. So there are only three countries that do not 
have any uh, sick people in them, or that <laughs> that have uninfected people in them. That's what I meant to say. And they are all in um, pretty good shape right now. Well, in my case, it's pretty good shape. China is about to hit critical mass. All right. I'm just gonna leave that rash symptom because it's gonna start costing DNA points. Okay. Now I just need to. Hmm. Coughing, sneezing, immune suppression. All right. Greenland and China are the only countries that still have healthy people. Starts working on cure. All right. Um, need a fever. All right. Sweet. Uh, the entire world is all visco girls. Incredibly lethal. Oh god. Um, I need to do genetic reshuffle. Um, alright. So that's set it back a little bit. Um, gonna slow this down just a little bit more because I need to be able to save up some more DNA points. Uh, this is <sighs> I really need to get total organ failure, except the only problem with that is that it costs 32 DNA points and I have two. Oh, oh but I can get refunds here. That should be good. Um, gives me some. Just need to up the lethality, but it doesn't seem like I can do that. So I'm just gonna save those 12 DNA points and hopefully I can get to a little organ failure. Okay. 50% done, that is not good. I need, <laughs> oh no, uh, crap. Um. Okay, worse than the Spanish flu. Okay, I, I need more DNA points because the cure is going way too fast. I don't I don't like that. Visco mm -mm -mm -mm. girls placed on watch list. Visco girls has been placed on the H W O W H O watch list. Already dangerous. Governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. Now I can just imagine this giant horde of Visco girls charging a government building. Oh god, 75% complete. Oh no. Nope. No, no. Gotta destroy it. Destroy it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No! Not fair! I didn't have enough DNA points. No. The number of infected are going down. Uh, am I able to save it? Am I able to save it or am I just completely hysterical because I'm gonna lose? No. No. It's painful watching the number of infected go down. The world has survived a devastating plague and will soon eradicate Visco girls forever. Large numbers of people have died. The world has changed forever. Moral of the story, don't trust Visco girls. <laughs> uh, guess I gotta see it through. Uh. Visco girls has been eradicated. You know what? Suddenly I don't feel as bad for naming it Visco girls. But now what we can do is look back on what just happened 
and look at how this happened. So what I did is I spent way too much time not uh, upgrading my infection um, rates. And I could have done that by um, making it more zoonotic, but I didn't. And so that became the inevitable downfall because I spent too many of my DNA points on uh, cold resistance and heat resistance and bacterial res resilience, even though I really should have been specking them into things such as um, infection rates and eventually total organ failure, which would have been a great way for Visco Girls to eliminate all life on the planet. <laughs> uh, well, this is fun. <laughs> And again, I'm sorry for the short video. I just wanted to try out this game, uh, recording it, and I had a lot of fun. This was a really fun game to play, and I hope to see you all again next time. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's uh, that's pretty helpful too. <laughs>